Good morning guys, hope you're having an amazing day. There's two things that I wanted to discuss with you guys today. One, that I got scammed. Second, uh, the car almost got totaled. So stay tuned, I'm gonna get into the details. Uh, welcome back. So the first thing, getting scammed. Um, over the weekend, uh, for Monday's video, we were actually, we went to downtown Vancouver and uh, after getting our food from uh, Mr. Shawarma, we went to Stanley Park. So um, I was trying to find a parking. We found a good parking. Uh, I went to the machine to try to pay, but uh, the machine ended up being broken. So I thought it was my credit card. I tried a Visa. It didn't work. I tried a MasterCard. It didn't work. Um, so where we were sitting, actually, you could see the, uh, the car and the parking spots. Um, so I was like, you know what, I'm just going to keep an eye when the attendant comes. I'm going to explain it to him and see what happens. Um, so I missed it and they uh, wrote me a ticket. But the good thing was the attendant was still there. So I went there, I approached him, I explained to him uh, what happened uh, and he wanted to see it. So we went to the machine together. I, uh, I uh, basically did the same thing that I was doing. I tried both the cards, Visa and MasterCard, and it didn't work. Um, so from there on, I'm just going to share this video with you guys. Let's watch it together. So you're gonna take it or no? No, sir. But the, cannot, the machine cannot. is broken. That's what I'm saying to you. So this is after um, I showed him the machine and I was explaining to him to, can you cancel it? And this is what he was telling me. So I felt a little off because he was saying, you know what, you have to call in. It's the weekend, the call center is closed and he can't do anything, but yeah, so let's listen what he Your says. Your ticket gonna be automatically cancelled. The only thing you need to do, they just give them a call and you're gonna tell them it's on your system that the meter was broken on that day, right? Mm -hmm. This is the only thing you're gonna what do. I'm but saying you're is, not well, why can't you do that? Why do I Sir, have to do if it if when I have the machine a provision, then I don't need to be argue with you, right? I can. Okay, so what he said exactly was your ticket's going to be cancelled. What you have to tell him is that in their system, tell them that it was uh, basically by him uh, it was uh, documented that the meter was broken do it right away if i have that provision on my system that's what i'm saying so when i asked him why he couldn't do it why did i have to call or contact them uh, on monday from what he was saying was he didn't have the tools or access to be able to cancel the ticket Okay, give me the ticket. So what? Do so I, I get ended up getting frustrated. I was like, you know what? Whatever. Just give me the ticket. And from what you're saying, you're documenting it in your system. So I'm going to get in touch with him on Monday, and basically tell him that the, the machine is in the system and the ticket should be canceled. So what do I reference? So he here he asked me for my ticket so that way he can get all my information including the license plate where he was going to put it in the system that the machine at this location was broken and this is the, the plate number of the vehicle and the ticket that you need to cancel as per him. By reference, how do I know? What if they don't cancel? Then where do they I go? They should do because I'm saying meter is not working. So this is the second time I ask him, what if they don't cancel it? And he says, they should because I'm documenting it. And I'm gonna write your car number customer. And I guess the app that he had, he's putting it in there cards, that the yeah. customer tried two different cards um, and the machine didn't work, it's broken. This is the plate number, it should be canceled. But the crazy thing is, Monday I emailed them explaining that what happened, the machine was broken, um, the attendant documented uh, everything and that it should be, um, it should be uh, canceled. The response I got back from them was that the, our records indicate that the violation was issued as the controller could not verify a time purchase. The post, the best course of action if you have any problem is to contact our 24-hour customer information number posted on the meter and report the issue 
and they will assist you if they cannot help you. They will date and timestamp the details of your call, which will assist in reviewing appeal should a violation be issued. So this doesn't make sense because I had the person, the live individual in front of me and I explained to them, he documented it, but they still wanted me to call a call center and explain that to them. And based on that, Unfortunately, our office is unable to cancel the violation based on the information provided in your appeal. It doesn't make sense. I got, I talked to them. The guy gave me confirmation that it's going to be canceled. He took the information down. And that's the reason I recorded it because I knew they're going to try to pull a fast one. And now they give me a ticket. So it's $45 if I pay it. And if it passed December 30th, it's going to go to $80 and if I let it go past January 13 it's gonna to go to 105 I'm gonna let it go to whatever it needs to go because I'm not paying it and I want to get you guys feedback what do you think am I overreacting or am I in the right that I'm actually got scammed and this ticket should be canceled so right in the comment section uh, below I'd love to hear what you guys uh, think just wanted to vent my frustration because from my point of view I shouldn't even had to send a second email. Um, the first email should have been enough because the information was in their system based on the attendant. Uh, the second thing, the car being totaled, a couple of uh, weeks ago, my sister and her family, they were driving uh, on the highway uh, and it was dark. They ended up actually um, hitting a deer. Uh, luckily, it was not straight head on, but they hit the, the corner of the car with the damage sustained. Uh, but the vehicle was quite a bit, but luckily everybody uh, was safe. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, especially now that it, the weather is getting cold, it's winter, um, it gets dark uh, sooner. And due to development in um, certain areas of our city and lower mainland, um, the habitat for these animals are getting less. So they're basically going further places to find food. Um, so if you guys are traveling on these highways and freeways, uh, be sure to be cautious and keep uh, be vigilant. I do have uh, the um, dash cam footage. Um, so if you guys are interested in seeing that, uh, give this video a thumbs up. If the video reaches 50 uh, likes, uh, I'll post the um, dash cam footage uh, as well. For now, we're out. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.